What's going on guys? Welcome back. We're at the Tiger Skate Park again. Today, I'm taking one out of Guam Tech's book. I was watching one of Guam Tech's latest videos. I think it's called Organic 5, where he's just slaying this little park on some big wheels even. And him and his buddy were throwing some alley-oop top horns. And I've always thought those were the sweetest looking grind, to be honest, like one of the sweetest looking grinds. It's funny, because I started doing some of those stalls um, the other week while I was at Tiger, and it kind of made me I think I could maybe try to start doing them on coping. So today, let's figure out if I can do some alley-oop top horns. So first off, we're gonna be doing just some basic stalls, and then we're gonna work it into doing stalls of the alley-oop top horns, making sure I can lock those well, and then probably start trying to slide them just a little bit uh, on this little three-foot quarter pipe right here. I think I could probably do a little bit of sliding, but uh, what my plan is today is to do maybe a foot or two of sliding on here, and then move on over to my main five footer-ish uh, coping spot that I really like to do it on and try to actually do some slides on that. If I can slide on that five foot coping over there, I'm gonna call today success. So let's go. All right guys, so stalls are feeling great. Such a good warm up. Just getting a little mini ramp and just run through all the stalls back and forth, double side on both sides of the ramp. Great way to warm your legs up. I'm just feeling really good right now. We're gonna get back in here and uh, let's just try to start doing some top horn, pseudo alley-oop top horn stalls. Uh, we're not gonna be sliding yet, so I'm not really gonna be doing much carving. There's gonna be stalls still, but it's just gonna kind of get me into that mode of stalling at this point, so let's do this. All right, so to my surprise, stalls are feeling really good. I think it helped a few days ago when I was here, I started trying to do stalls of this trick. I think the main key to this is, is not getting too much speed and uh, staying as low as you can when you lock that trick so you don't roll over because you're when you spin an alley-oop to something, your body kind of wants to keep going over the, the coping onto the backside. And when I start going, I think I need to send it more down the rail to get that grind initiated and carry that momentum down the rail, not over the coping uh, onto the deck. So, stalling is one thing. It's good to get locked in and get that confidence up for sure. But uh, carving at this thing and sending it with a little bit of a trajectory, I guess, <laughs> uh, can throw off your balance quite a bit. So here we go, let's try it out. All right, well, I'm getting a little bit of sliding. I think I'm getting more and more into the right scenario mindset to keep pushing it further. I don't have all that much time today to keep messing around this three footer. I feel like I have the stall and the, the start to a slide enough that I just wanna see what it feels like on about you know two foot taller uh, ramp. So let's head on over to this bad boy back here. And uh, we'll start with Start with some stalls, and then we'll see if we can slide it. Wish me luck. So, I'm definitely feeling the difference in ramp size. 
I'm getting on it with my feet, but my body's way in front of my feet or behind my feet over here. My feet are over here. So I keep kind of coming off it instead of sitting right on top of my feet. The only times I've done it with getting on top of my feet, I'm way out over here where I need to be, but oh man, it's scary. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Well guys, sorry that was kind of uneventful. The question, can I alley-oop top porn coping? Not really, but it was fun just to focus on one trick and just kind of go through the, my, my stages of, you know, how I safely try to execute that trick. I think I have it. I think a lot of it has to do with my confidence of, as I'm carving, getting a little more speed and then just jumping out to that coping and just sitting down on my skates or getting low on my skates uh, and locking it like and just trusting that I'm gonna lock it every time. That motion of carve and then sit right on top of the coping and not past it and start leaning. You get your body directly on top or, or even over the, the ramp still. Kind of like you know you're supposed to do with any other coping grind um, is, is what's holding me back at this point. And I'm not gonna get that today. I think that's just gonna come with continually trying to do this slowly over time and getting that confidence of locking it every time and slowly pushing that speed and getting lower and just sending to sitting straight on the coping. But when you're doing some alley-oop and you're going backwards at something on your top side and you're up on something, you know, five feet up or more, I get a little sketched out. I try to skate as much as I can safely. That's probably why I'm not, you know, all that great of a aggressive skater. I just enjoy skating for what it is and I don't want to kill myself trying new tricks. Uh, that being said, I do want to keep pushing slowly like I am doing today. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, also let me know in the comments below. Or if you know like what I'm doing wrong based on watching me do it, uh, give me some pointers. I'd love to hear from the community. If you can do these and you got stuck kind of like where I am, what got you over that hump? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video for what it was. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss any of these episodes. Yeah, and until next time guys, just keep rolling.